What's going on Uplanders? Hope you all have an amazing day today. In this video, I'm going to be going over um, what's been happening during Genesis week, how the stress test went, and a little bit on how I'm going to be preparing for the actual release, which is in the middle of the night for me tonight sort of thing. So let's get into it. Um, obviously a big piece of news um, that came out just before we duck into all this was the international terminal sales. Um, this was pretty cool and I just thought I'd say what do you think the first international city will be guys um what 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 or what would you like to see as well i'd love to hear that just me thinking now obviously i'm in australia so i'd love an australian city however i don't see that happening even though sydney would be amazing you know we've got the opera house the sydney harbour bridge and all that cool stuff but i'm thinking i don't know london tokyo toronto Rio, I don't know, maybe something like that, something along those lines, but I haven't given it any thought really, so that was just off the top of my head. A few sort of major cities there that could sort of get involved. I think maybe they might release it in somewhere with the maybe the second biggest um, user base, and that obviously have that information. So maybe if they have a huge user base in uh, in England, they might um, might choose London or something like that. But um, who knows? It's uh, but it's super exciting. I'm I'm pumped for the first international city. So let me know what you think. Which ones um, they'll sort of be. Now I just wanted to quickly duck into the DAP radar as well. Um, Uplands obviously tracking really really well. You know, up eight percent, um, forty five thousand individual users, um, individual um, wallet transactions on the EOS blockchain, which is absolutely amazing. So good work to Upland. Genesis Week is working and doing really well. Now let's go to the stress test. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the stress test. Please drop in the comments below and let me know how it went for you. Um, as you can see, I've got one lone little property here. Um, so I'll tell you what my strategy was and how it went and how the stress test actually went for me so i actually was really looking to pick something up on either karen ave or um along this sahara street here and it wasn't so much to try and pick up a cool property but it was more so i could send myself here when the um city release the uh, full city release gets released and i could sort of start drifting into uh downtown and possibly even the arts district it's quite a short little um short little float over there sort of thing and then get lucky um sort of thing so i actually the properties i was eyeing off i really 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 wanted um this 7-eleven here and possibly this gas station um i sent um when properties became available i sort of um the first one that unlocked that i could send myself to was about here and I just couldn't get close enough to the 7-Eleven and they got snapped up real quick. And then um, I sent myself over to, I was like, what well, my plan B was, I just wanted something to pick up a couple things um, in the stress test. So I sent myself over to here, picked up one, and then I picked two more up in this really dense area here where there's, there's so many properties in this area. It's really small, sort of dense laid out. And um, I picked up two in here and then I immediately put them back up for sale um, for about 10,000 UPEX more than I bought them. So I minted them for about 18,000. The property I'm still holding, I, I minted it for about that as well. And then I sold two for about um, 10,000 each. So essentially I've got um, the same amount of UPEX I had, a little bit more. And um, I've got myself obviously a free property, essentially sort of thing. Um, this still is an okay spot to send myself, not too far from the city release. Hopefully I can still drift up, um, you know, to this other side of downtown south, um, you know, possibly drift into downtown or maybe even the arts district sort of thing. So um, my sort of strategy for the full release will be um, a lot of Red Bull and um, <laughs> stay up till the middle of the night sort of thing. Actually, it's not that late anymore. The time difference is evened up. It's only... Um, it must be daylight savings or something because it's it's only one or two in the morning now so it's not too bad but so what i'll be doing just so you know sort of thing um, i'm probably going to put my block exploring around here and hopefully drift up into downtown south i might just pick a property up here or two maybe just to just why not sort of thing um and then obviously i want to pick something up on the strip here um quite quickly and try and lock something else uh, so this isn't the strip but along las vegas boulevard and then hopefully i can get something along main street up here too um i really do think that these are possibly collections and then um i'm going to 
come up to probably downtown east and try and pick up a few properties in and around here and as i said we're setting up this node um, in downtown east sort of thing so if you do want to be a part of that um, i'll leave the telegram group in the description below there's about eight of us now so that's pretty exciting and um, i'm going to try and pick up some bits and pieces in this downtown east district and on fremont street hopefully there are a few marked properties along here and then hopefully pick up some cheap cheap -er ones up here if they are cheap um i had a look at the city view map and the houses don't look like they're good but they're not like mansions or anything so hopefully we can pick up some nice good cheap ones along here and um, downtown east is actually a pretty good little suburb as well there's plenty of like i said plenty of businesses plenty of um marked properties along here and stuff too so i think it's going to be a really really good node and then I'll, i'm just going to sort of wing it from then on and just sort of see what the places are see what it all looks like and then um one other place i might just sort of look at as well is this coming down here to the south side of the las vegas strip um this is where the actual strip is this obviously bellagio and stuff here and i believe the NFL legits like with a state yeah the stadium's down here too so I'm probably going to um, maybe just look at picking up a property or two down near this stadium I've always I don't have any interest in the NFL legits I don't even know how to play the game I don't understand it but um, and I definitely don't know how to the NFT <laughs> legits work but um, I've always found if I just buy stuff near NFL stuff it just seems to like go pretty good like I'm just like the property seemed to sell okay um, I did pretty well in LA with that um, I just bought properties near the stadium and stuff like that. I think it was in Inglewood, maybe from memory. And um, yeah, it went great. So I was like, well, you know, it can't hurt. And at least, you know, at least you're buying near stuff um, sort of thing rather than just buying sort of in the middle of nowhere. So that would sort of be my rough strategy sort of thing. Um, and if I might have a little looky and um, up at Twin Lakes as well because um these really expensive suburb here and um like i said in my last video anything with water and green is good so <laughs> it's good in las vegas as we know it's a desert so we know it's very well looked after suburb if there's you know, green and water sort of thing so that's um roughly my strategy guys i'm not going to go ham or anything like that i'm not going to just buy anything um in las vegas i've made that mistake before and um i normally what i normally do is i do that i'll concentrate on an area like i'll go arts district's too small but i'll find an area like, you know what i'm going i'm going ham in here i'm just going to pick up as much as i can i obviously still buy a thing or two everywhere but and that's always worked really good for me it worked great in chicago it worked great in detroit it worked great in queens it worked great in the bronx it's, it's it's gone good it's it's always sort of worked for me the one time i didn't do it was in la and i literally i just bought like every little bit everywhere and um so many of the properties i bought were just rubbish and if i'm like if i at least concentrate in one area at least i can build up a cool node build a cool community you know like I control that area to an extent sort of thing whereas if you just got like 50 properties spread out over all of LA it just sort of they get lost and they're just sort of random things so yeah that's sort of my thoughts on that my strategy for it um, I'd love to hear your guys strategy and what you guys think um, think the best suburb will be to buy and pick up um, just a rough prediction again like I said I think it'll be Twin Lakes obviously Las Vegas Boulevard Main Street um, what's the name of that street here I always forget Fremont Street's probably possibly going to be one too um, downtown obviously um, University District I say it's a very good chance as well so um, you know and then we've got Paradise we've got Paradise Parade that's a really famous street too guys if you can pick some stuff up along here um, whether it becomes a um, collection or not I still think that's a pretty good buy um, but yeah that's pretty much that for it what else we got on today so obviously the international uh, sorry the international airport got released and now we've also we've had this i believe the auction's already been um i saw the prices and i was like cool but no thank you um i'll let some of the big bosses do that but how cool are some of these designs guys and uh, i don't like vans but i'll drive that that's cool and then obviously the sports car and the other cool van here but yeah the auction obviously the min bids was 400 i believe it's a silent auction um sort of thing but the estimated um estimated costs in upx was going to be eight hundred and forty thousand, which is 840 dollars for everyone playing at home um sort of thing so pretty pricey um sort of thing so i just thought i'd sit back with that one and um i'm definitely going to get into cars 
but I might wait a little bit um, until um, just until they're more of a thing and we can actually use them race tracks and blah blah blah. I don't really see the point in buying one right now. Obviously, I'm trying to enter the competition to win one as well. That's um, make sure you guys are all doing that too. But yeah, it's um, they're, they're pretty pricey. But like, I don't think you're going to lose any money on these either. Like, they're it's the initial lot of them, and they're really really cool as well. Like, that's a sick looking car. Um, yeah, so sort of silent auction um, sort of thing. So yeah, it's um. All very exciting, guys. There's so much going on at the moment. It's great to see. I'm um, obviously checking DAP radar and seeing how many people are logging in. I mean, it's nearly 50,000, um, you know, actual transact, well, wallet, unique wallet transactions um, yesterday. It's um, pretty good, man. I'm not mad at that at all. So, Upland's obviously doing great things. I believe they're doing some cool live streams and stuff. I think Uplando's doing one with Dirk tonight. So, that will be really cool after the city release, um, which is really cool. I love listening to Dirk speak because um, obviously having that um, economic mind um, is one of the main reasons I got into Upland. So, I'm super excited for that one. Probably won't watch it live because I think that is in four in the morning. So I'll be um, I'll be crashed out by then. I'd sort of say. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, oh, we've got the silent car auction here, or the results here. If you want to check it, I'll put that in the description below. Um, but thank you all so much for watching, guys. Like I said, I'd love to hear your guys' strategies and how you even went in your stress test and how do you think it went. Um, Oh, just on the stress test performance personally, this isn't a huge, hasn't been much of a huge deal lately because they've been running so smooth. But anyone that's minted sort of LA and back, which I have, um, knows that that can be a nightmare sometimes. And to be honest, I found the performance of the game pretty good. I didn't get too many pinwheels. When I'd click on a property, it was this pinwheel, you sort of go around once and then boom, it would open and I could buy it. So it wasn't too bad at all. It definitely wasn't lightning quick like it is if there isn't a city release um but it was pretty good i was i was relatively happy with the um the stress test sort of thing so i can't complain um sort of thing they're doing um they've obviously learned from all their mistakes and um anyone that did the first release in uh, la knows it was uh rough they had to actually shut down the game about three or four times um to sort of redo it so i think they did a really really good job and um fingers crossed uh, tonight it can be exactly the same and nice and smooth and nice and clean and um yeah we can just have a nice smooth release um just actually one last thing sorry guys I'm rambling on here but um they are they have said that they're only going to be releasing seventy seven thousand properties and it will sort of automatically release as demand grows so we don't actually know how um where like, like i'm saying i want to buy up here and up here who knows if this will even open you know like we're not we're not too sure sort of thing um so maybe just make sure if i had to if i had to sort of say if i was you first thing i'd do if you've never been in the city before make sure you've got plenty of sends um you obviously see the paper airplanes sort of they, they usually have quite a few around um during um city releases which is really really good so um make sure you you've stocked up on sends because I've been stuck before. It's um, it's happened to me a couple of times. Um, it happened to me actually in the first release in, um, in LA because the the stress test cities were so far apart and I had to send all over the place to get to them, and it was a bit of a nightmare. So make sure you're stocked up on sends. And um, if I was going to start from somewhere, yeah, I'd probably just send yourself to Winchester, and um, hopefully you can float up this way, float up this way float down here towards the strip even float down here towards paradise point so um that's sort of what i'd be looking at doing if i was you guys and um hopefully you can pick yourself up some cool things but i wouldn't go too far from the city center obviously winchester is pretty much the city center but i wouldn't want to be floating up here and it doesn't get open imagine that that would suck and you miss all the good stuff so i'd sort of make sure you're pretty close to winchester maybe um sort of thing um just to start but that's me and um beautiful guys so we're all ready to go so bring on las vegas and um good luck to anyone everyone not anyone everyone and i'll uh, see you on the next one